NLAW missile, Ukraine's primary tank buster fighting Russia. This weapon alone is responsible for 30% 40% of all Russian tank kills in Ukraine. When Russia began its special military operation into Ukraine on February 24, 2022, numerous Western countries pledged to support the latter with a variety of weapons. Among the least expensive but most effective was a British contribution commonly known as the NLAW, representing its status as a next-generation light anti-tank weapon. 21st Century Anti-Tank Weapon In 1999, the British Defence Procurement Agency issued a specification for a replacement for the obsolescent Law 80, and in October 2002 it accepted the design proposed by the Swedish Saab Bofors Dynamics. Sweden's mechanized infantry lacked up-to-date tanks and anti-tank weapons at the time, so Bofors had already been at work developing what the Swedish army would accept as the Robot 57 or RB57, while the British put it into production by 14 subcontractors as the MBT law. and law specs. Whichever its terminology, the NLAW incorporates firepower and fire and forget electronics in a compact, lightweight disposable package, being 3 feet, 4 inches long with a 150 mm warhead and an overall weight of 28 pounds, compared to the 49 pound weight of the FGM 148 Javelin when it entered service with the Americans in 1996. As with the Javelin, the NLAW uses a soft launch guided system guided by predictable line of sight. Upon firing, a relatively mild propellant initially drives the round at 40 meters, 130 feet per second, producing little backblast, then ignites the main propellant to attain a speed of 200 meters, 600 feet per second to an effective range of 800 meters, 2,625 feet, and a maximum range of 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet. NLAW vs. Javelin The NLAW is lighter and handier than the Javelin and can penetrate up to 20 inches of armor, though its four-pound-shaped charge warhead does not have the Javelin's tandem fuse setup and thus can be foiled by active armor. The NLAW user, however, has the option of carrying out an overfly top attack on the less heavily armored upper surfaces of tanks with a proximity fuse, or assault on unarmored targets or static enemy positions using a direct contact explosive round. Although the Javelin has figured more prominently in the past few months, its $176,000 cost limits production compared to the NLA's $30,000 to $40,000 price tag. It is currently the most numerous high-tech infantry weapon in Ukraine and reportedly responsible for 30 to 40 percent of Russian tank losses, making it, according to at least one senior officer, the weapon of choice for the Ukrainian infantry. Thanks for watching.